Hey guys, my name is Ismos and uh, today we're looking at Pure Sky 3.1. This is a new update uh, to Pure Sky and I think this update has made Pure Sky the best add-on for making clouds, skies, atmosphere and uh, now space. Yes, this update now includes a space environment uh, for your space scenes. It's all bundled in one add-on. The add-on has also been optimized for easy installation and use. Before we get into Blender to review the add-on, let's first go through uh, the details of the add-on to show you some of the new features uh, that are included in the add-on. Yes, like in the previous versions, you have the ability to add clouds, change the time of day, and also animate your environment or animate at the time of day. Just look at the renders and tell me this is not the best thing you have ever seen in Blender because it gives you the kind of functionality you rarely get with the inbuilt tools that come with Blender or even other add-ons. Uh, you can see these clouds are all procedural. Uh, the atmospheric fog is just one click away. And uh, just look at uh, the lighting. You just have to worry about setting up the environment and uh, leave the atmosphere, the sky, clouds, and uh, everything else to, to pure sky. And as I said, this add-on now comes with a space with a space feature so you can easily fly into space and then have everything set up for you and you can just see a quick and you can see as from this animation you just have to fly into space and uh, you will see and uh, the entire environment will change out uh, space with uh, all the stars nebulas and uh, even uh, the milky way so let's go into blender and uh, show you how to set up everything here uh, so let's just go back here Again, I'll be leaving a link in the description for you to download the add-on. So after you download the add-on, you will get a zip file that you can extract and uh, you'll find a folder uh, like this, which will include any of these or all of them, depending on what you have got. And uh, after you get that, all you have to do is uh, go into your project file, go under file, append, and uh, locate where you have downloaded and extracted uh, the Pure Sky add-on. Select the add-on you have downloaded. I got all three, uh, but uh, if you have one, just select whatever version you have. Then that will take you into the blend file and uh, go to the collections. What you're looking for is uh, the Pure Sky 3.1 collection. I uh, just ignore everything else here. All you want is this Pure Sky uh, collection. If you select that, it will also import all the other collections you have. And uh, hit append. That is linked into your our project now you can see that we have two new suns here and if you go to the outliner you can see that you have a new set of collections with a different objects let me just collapse that just ignore that collection don't touch it everything you need to set up is going to be in the world settings and now if you go to the world settings all you have to do is switch the default world settings uh, to the pure sky 3.1 optimized uh, settings and uh, this setting is only going to be available after you go through uh, these steps of appending uh, the collection so now we just have to switch this to pure sky and uh, everything is going to be set up for us uh, you can see we have the sun the sky sun stars moon planet rainbow animation this is a very packed add-on with a lot of features so let's go to the uh, final preview just to look at uh, how everything is set up you can see after you change out of the pure sky, everything will switch immediately. And uh, let's switch back to the original. This is how uh, the original version, the default sky looks. And uh, if we switch this to this, it just changes. And just let's set up a quick scene here. Uh, just going to scale this up just so we have something to look at. I'm just going to give it a water material. So a principal shader and then uh, Texture, noise texture, then add a vector bump. I just, I'm just setting this up so that we have something nice to look at uh, for the surface or for the ground. I just, just want to add some water in the scene. So this is going to be our water. I just need to give this a transmission value of one. And now we have water. Just make it very reflective like this. Scale it up. Now we can also add in maybe, just so we have something in our scene at work with and all the settings you're looking for are down in the world settings you can see we have a moon we have even a planet which you can get rid of if you don't want to if you don't want it there all you have to do is uh, go into the world settings and find uh, the planet setting and uh, change uh, the fade to zero and uh, you should get rid of that if you want it in you can bring it back now you can see even change you can change the scale uh, if you want a two planet system yeah then you have that 
in there you can change the height just some amazing set settings here and uh, this can be admitted uh, the entire system pure sky system is an admitted so if you want to have the system admitted you can see we have the sun and if you want to have the daytime animated, all you have to go to is uh, the animate value, change it to one, hit play, and voila, you have the sky, the sun animated. So you can see the sun. Just look at those reflections. And, uh, goes into night time, and I should start to see the stars. And the moon you see even the milky way now just look at those stars and again if you are going for a realistic look and i don't want the planet all you have to do is go to the planet get rid of that and uh, the great thing about this is that uh, the animation loops so you can see it's going to frame 50 and just goes back and uh, it uh, it loops and if you want to set up these clouds, it's also very, very simple. All you have to do is go into the uh, clouds volume and then clouds to bring in uh, the clouds. And uh, if your clouds don't appear right away, uh, just make sure you go to the render settings and uh, under volumetrics, make sure you increase the end volume because right now the clouds are there but uh, they're being clipped by the camera uh, so if we increase this to something like uh 1000 you can start to see uh, the clouds and uh the quality of the the clouds is going to be based on the amount the resolution you set in ev so if i increase the resolution here to something like uh, 32 and uh, also change uh, the tile size, I'll get better looking clouds. But uh, because I'm recording and my computer is not that powerful, I'm not going to do that. Uh, so I'm just going to keep this uh, to about eight pixels so that we have something uh, that is easy uh, to look, That is so that we have a good frame rate uh, when uh, screen recording. Otherwise, if you want to, if you're going to, you can actually just change the tile size to something large as you're setting up everything and when it comes to render time you can bring this up so that you have really good looking clouds i can see the amount of detail that comes through by just increasing the tile size here and you can also increase uh, the samples to get better far better looking clouds uh, that i'm getting here uh, this add-on is packed with a lot of features i uh, stars moons planets rainbows actually where is my rainbow i was forgetting about that let's go Somewhere you can see the rainbow here. If uh, we go to the rainbow settings, you can change the opacity, the distance, rotate it. It's a lot of features like it around there. So there are lots of things you can do with this add-on. And uh, one more thing, if you zoom out or if you fly into the sky, you can go uh, to outer space if you hit f3 and search for fly navigation you can use your your camera at fly into out, outer space so i'm just using the shortcuts you can also see the shortcuts down here so again I'm, let me just go f3 fly navigation that i can move up using e uh, that should slowly drag me up like that and i will see that we are going through the clouds uh, the resolution is really set to something very low because i'm screen screen recording this and uh, there's a lot going on in the scene but uh, if you you can see you finally fly up into the sky and start looking at the the space and uh, you can go to the pure sky channel to watch some of the tutorials if you want to learn or just go to this link to the link in the description and uh, scroll down you find a uh, different tutorials on how to set up uh, your scene uh, if you yes thank you for watching i'll see you in the next video